hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will know about the cofer dams and its types while constructing a bridge on a large water body we have to construct a piers on a water body to support a bridge and for the construction of a piers we have to do a concreting work and a concreting work on a water is only possible with the help of special types of the dams which are known as cofer dams Suppose we have to construct a bridge in this water body and for the construction of the bridge let us suppose that the piers need to be constructed in this portion zone and for the construction of the piers we have to create a dry condition here and for the purpose of creating a dry condition a series of interlocked sheet piles are used. Here the double row of sheet piles are used in order to prevent the seepage in the working area after these seed piles are driven into the ocean then the water from this portion is pumped out using a pump if we see this in plan then we can see this in this row series of Seed piles are driven and in this row also series of seed piles are driven in this row also series of seed piles are driven in this row also series of seed piles are driven so that a rectangular body is obtained in the plan and this hatched portion so a cover dam and this blank portion is a working area and this working area is in dry condition because the water from this area is pumped out using a pump cover dams are preferred while a construction is to be done on the water bodies and these are dismantled when the permanent works are completed there are various types of cover dams they are earth cover dam rock fill cover dam single seat pile cover dam double seat piling cover dam breast cover dams and cellular cover dams now let us move to the earth cover dam in the earth cover dam a locally available material such as clay and fine sand is used for the construction and a seat pile is driven in the middle in order to prevent the leakage of the water from this water bodies to the working area um, the slope of this type of earth cover dam are generally kept 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 this type of cover dam are generally preferred in the area where the height of the water is maximum 3 meter on the freeboard of generally one meter is kept in order to prevent the flow of the water from the water bodies to the working area when the wave arises in the water bodies and this portion of earth cover dam is pitched with the ripped stone in order to prevent the scouring of this side now let us move to the rock fill cover dam rock fill cover dam is almost similar to the earth cover dam but here the filling material used is rock since the rock is used as a filling material it is permeable so it, this portion is coated with the impermeable membrane to prevent the seepage of the water in the working area and this type of rock fill cover dam are generally preferred when the rock is easily available at the construction site and the slope is usually 1 is to 1.5 in the rock fill cover dam now single seat pile cover dam in this type of the cover dam a single row of seat pile is driven and to support the seat pile a filling material is used either in one side or in the both side the filling material used should have high unit weight and the coefficient of the friction to provide the support to the single row seat pile this type of the seat piles are preferred when the flow velocity of water is moderate and the depth of the water body is up to 4 meter. Here the height of the seat pile is greater than the maximum water level in the water body in order to prevent the flow of the water from this water body into this working area when the wave arises in this water body. Double wall seat piling cover dam. 
In this type of the copperdium, uh, two walls are constructed with the help of the series of interconnected seed piles, and the space between these two parallel piles are empirically set as s by 2 plus 1.5 meter, where h is the height of the water in the water body. And this double wall seed pile in copperdium is much more advantageous than the single wall copperdium because the leakage in double wall seed pile in copperdium is comparatively less. And the space between these two parallel walls are filled with the material having the high unit weight and the coefficient of the friction in order to give the copper dam stability against the sliding and the overturning. And these types of copper dams are especially preferred when the height of the water is up to 10 meter. Here the special structure called bomb is used in order to keep the phreatic line within the surface and the phreatic line is the top flow line which separates the saturated and the unsaturated zone. Now let us move to the breast cover dam. Breast cover dam is a combination of double wall seat piling cover dam and a bracing with wells and struts. Finally, the last one cellular cover dam. A cellular cover dam is constructed by driving the seed piles of special shapes to form a series of the cells. And the cellular cover dams can be either diagram type or either circular type.